If you're new to nail art, textured designs are the perfect place to start. No, they're not. <laughs> that is the worst advice you could ever give someone. That's like, if you're new to driving, just start in a Ferrari. No. Today we're gonna analyze nail trends for 2024 as reported by the media. <laughs> we did this last year and it was a lot of fun. I'm doing it again, but I'm doing it in a little more sociological method way. I made you a presentation, ready? Nail trends 2024, allegedly. Very rigorous research study. Did a meta-analysis of a total of 11 different articles that had curated reported nail trends for 2024. What is a meta-analysis? It is basically when you take a bunch of studies that have already been done and then you look at the result of combining all those studies. So yes, I am calling articles on the internet studies oh. in order to determine, do the trends even agree with each other? Are they on the same page? Or are they all like all over the place? Are they just talking shit? I'm just trying to find any reason to do research. <laughs> These are my sources. I've already done the analysis and I have conclusions, but I wanna go through the articles with you and read it and react to what they're saying at source and then go through my conclusions. For 2024, we'll be leaning into ease and simplicity, sleek finishes, minimalist nail art, shorter lengths <laughs> to me, and sophisticated updates to classic styles like the French manicure. You did your homework and you were here last year. This sounds exactly like what they said last year. What year are you referring to? What is your reference category? Floating French tip. So it's not at the tip. It's a line. That's not a French tip. C'est pas français là. So it's like kind of a geometric mani, you know? Oh, is that re like reflective topper? Okay, I actually think that's pretty. It looks like diamonds on your tip. Do it with disco dust taco. So you can have the balance, let's say, between a sheer minimalist mani, just use like smoothing base coat or whatever. And then on the tip, do a rainbow reflective topper. Ultra glossy nails for 2024. That's clearly magnetic. Layering different textures to create a majorly shiny nail look. Shiny? You mean like just top coat? Sometimes you can be really surprised by the color combos you've created. Yeah, right? Combining jelly nails with a magnetic velvet nail polish or mixing cat eye polish, which is magnetic polish. Oh no, they think they're two different things. Oh no. Do you mean the magnetic effect, like crystal dome, or do you just mean shiny? Which one is the trend? <laughs> Did AI write this? And short square nails. Celeb clients are starting to ask for short squared off nails, which fits the natural quote, clean aesthetic everyone has been leaning into lately. Yeah, people want to be clean and not not dirty? Why? Why? <laughs> Years of acrylics and gel X extensions. Our nails are all pretty beat. Excuse me, speak for yourself. <laughs> Who's had years of acrylics and gel X extensions? Actually, I, let's pull the chat. This is live research. Thank you for participating. Everyone gets a course credit. 90% no? <laughs> Only one in 10 of you can relate to this statement here. Forever squovel over here. You know, am I out of style? Oh my God. This article says squovel. Squovel nails pair well with nearly any color. Just, uh, you know, humor me. <laughs> what color can you not wear? with squovel nails. <laughs> can choose a shade that matches the season and your mood. Wow, permission to wear what we want. Long nails will never grow out of style. Yes, thank you. According to Shelton, I have questions for Shelton. Long almond nails will be big next year. They're one of the most flattering nail shapes in my opinion. Which one is it? I don't know who to trust anymore. I have trust issues. Nail shape should not be a trend. Nail shape should be what makes the most sense for you and your lifestyle and what you can manage to maintain and be happy with the painting and performance on. That's it. <laughs> How about we do a poll? What nail shape does chat currently have? 55%, the majority are squoval, which means slightly rounded corners. 29% are almond, 13% are square, and 2% are pointy. A boom in nail care. <gasps> wow, what is pen is that? Oh my God, is that the holotago nail oil pen? Holy shit. Hot new trend. Chocolate milk nails for 2024. Oh, mmm, tasty. We'll be seeing variations of neutral shades like sandy beiges, light pinks, and deep browns, which of course TikTokers have deemed as chocolate milk nails. Okay, TikTok, why? It started with blueberry milk, which is just light blue. 
they realized like the color brown exists, they discovered it, and then they put that on their nails and they're like, oh my God, it's chocolate milk. <laughs> to get the creamy look, make sure to opt for a shade without shimmer. Oh, <laughs> they said no shimmer. Oh, like only cremes. 2024 so far, I'm not seeing anything but cremes. Now I'm triggered. <laughs> All aura, I, uh, aura, aura nails, aura. These, you mean a gradient? It's a radial gradient. Y2K fans rejoice. What? Hello? What? That was a Y2K thing? Good news or bad if you're a hater. Spelt with the number eight. Okay, like just say you're 35. Creates this really beautiful apex and gradient on your nails that looks expensive. Why do we want to look expensive? In this economy, that color combo is not it. It's like my eyes. This is my eye rash look, guys. I'm telling you, it's in. This to me is a better use of color theory for doing a radial gradient. Love this deliberate kind of shadowing on the edges. That's really fun too. If you want to try the look at home, it's shockingly easy. I don't know if most people would agree this is shockingly easy. It takes a lot of practice, I think, to get the right level of pressure. Ombre nails. Gradient nails. Okay, I like it. I like it. This is this is very nice. Is this simple classic? I don't know. I mean, to me, yeah. <laughs> Color trends for next year are more bold and vibrant. That is the opposite of what the other article said. <laughs> I prefer this article then. I like this result. Simple rhinestone nail trend for 2024. They're so small. I'm like, where are they? I'm not opposed to this. This is fine. It's probably not the most practical. Bow accents. Little baby bows. The trend fully embraces girlhood and femininity. So it's often paired with white and light pink nail colors, shimmery finishes, and delicate pearls and rhinestones. <laughs> it reminds me of like gender reveal aesthetic. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm not a bow girly, you know? I'm more like a, give me a lightning bolt. Give me a skull. <laughs> On the other hand, <laughs> what is this graphic? Accent nails are taking a back seat to uniform sets. What? They just said no to accent nails? How could you? <laughs> Sheer nail colors for 2024 and 2023. I swear to God. <laughs> I like how they're showing their nails. There is nothing on your nails. <laughs> there, There is a base coat on your nails. 2024 is looking so exciting, guys. A sheer rosy pink has a fashionable edge. It mixes ballet core and quiet luxury. Quiet luxury? What does it mean? Like you're rich, be quiet. Like not wearing Gucci all over. That's like loud luxury. Lip gloss nails? Don't put lip gloss on your nails. And don't put nail polish on your lips. Oyster nails, you mean iridescent? Oh my God, is this something in our language? Think shimmery, duochrome. Well, that's that's a different, that's a different thing. Sheer shades. Well, well, well wait, wait, wait. Now they're sheer? Basically an update to the 2022 glaze don't, Okay, finally, they, they admit it. They just can't find new trends. <laughs> that kind of looks like Polar Princess. Seven, icy layers. It's time to break the ice or cover it with glitter. Finally, someone mentions glitter, thank God. Anything that's a combo, we're on board with, because then that means there's more options available. 3D nail art trend. This is a new trend and is definitely a specialty technique that I'd recommend to ask your nail tech to make sure the gel is layered. That's jewelry. <laughs> that is, that's jewelry actually. <laughs> wow, okay, that that's a lot. <laughs> Holy shit. So we went from like nothing to ah, everything. Nail trend, swirl nails. Okay, I like this. Easy way to play around with bright color combos without requiring a perfectly steady hand. Oh, they're so wrong. You have to be really steady to do this. Guys, listen, a uh, newspaper article writer, just because a line is curvy, doesn't mean it requires an unsteady hand. Swirls are hard. I don't think they've ever drawn anything ever. They've only written things. I like that something like this is being mentioned. Finally, point for something interesting. Where is the glitter? Good question. 70s aura nails. Wait, what do they think aura means? This is swirl nails. Ugh. Somebody didn't do their research. <laughs> Glazed porcelain nails. I like this because it's different and I can appreciate something that is unique and that isn't just like a copy paste of everything from every other year, or like minimalist nails, blah. <laughs> You know, Hailey Bieber, ah. This may not be attainable for most people at home who are not nail artists, but this is really cool to look at. Molten chrome accents. That looks like spirit fingers and bad bitch. Okay, so this article is saying chrome, but just as an accent. This doesn't look very minimalist though. You know, this is kind of hardcore. <laughs> it's saying chrome is still here. Oh my God. 
That's so funny. You like a, a gold chrome? Damn. <laughs> Have you heard of Trophy Life? It's retiring. Mixed metals. Silver chrome is the metal of choice this season and gold is officially in the number two spot. Is it number two or more like number five? What's wrong with these short square gold chrome nails? <laughs> if you're new to nail art, textured designs are the perfect place to start. No, they're not. That is not the good place to start. What? That is the worst advice you could ever give someone. That's like, if you're new to driving, just start in a Ferrari. No! <laughs> you start with like a floating French tip or some bullshit. Pantone came out with their color of 2024 and it's called Peach Fuzz. For a couple streams ago, I asked you if you think Hollow Tacos Rest in Peach, which is basically the same color, would sell better just because Pantone said this was a color of the year. And most of you in the chat voted like, no. And I agree with that in principle. Like, I don't think it's gonna meaningfully do anything, but I'm interested to see if there's a little bit of lift. Hazy blue. Look, we're twinning. Oh, I didn't even show you my nails. Guys, look, I have cold girl nails. This is cold slate and crystal skies. I painted the creme cold slate on, and then I just kind of dabbed on crystal skies and kind of faded it down so it looks like an icicle or a snowy cold mountain. To add a touch of sparkle, layer your blue with a silver shimmer polish, right? I mean, I did glitter instead of shimmer, but electric blue, okay. Electric blue will also be trending in 2024. Good thing we brought it back. <laughs> According to Pinterest, searches for bun blue nails increased by 260%. Where's your citation? How do I get that data? It's very bet bet blue, yeah, very Julian. Actually, Julian invented this trend. Come on, guys, give him credit. Oh, that's cute. That's the fishtail manny. Please let that come back. I like that. Sage green nails. Okay, interesting, interesting. Very muted. Red was the biggest color trend of 2023, was it? Just because of that like TikTok nail theory stuff? Also predict that a slightly darker shade of red known as cherry cola will be popular next year if you're searching for a vampy winter nail look. I kind of like that. Okay, Hailey Bieber, she's wearing red this year. Earthy green. Okay, Modest Moss. Hello. Best seller of 2023. When multiple shades or designs catch your eye in 2024, instead of picking one, just wear them all. Thank you. The chaos. Yes. Chaos trend. They just endorsed the Skittle Mini. Thank God, holy shit. Stars, hand-drawn stars while tedious will be a trend. We did just really starry-eyed. So yeah, sure, stars. Stars in your nail polish. Animal prints, what? Really? Okay. I feel like they're just saying every, every possible art style. Lebs are already rocking these looks. I will require citation. Where are your sources? My sources tell, are they? Are they listening to me? My sources tell me leopard print is about to have a renaissance. So why not wear this trend on your nails too? What do you guys think? Like cracked taco. Who doesn't love cats? The giraffe. How about feathers? Not the Jersey Shore era. Her source, Carol Baskin. I don't know if I agree that I'm like seeing it as a nail trend, you know? This is the year of confused girlies. Pierced nails, no, I thought we got over this. You will not drill a hole through me, thank you. I'm not gonna use a drill because these are my natural nails and we don't want an accident. We've read through 11 different articles, put it all together and draw some conclusions. First, let's talk about color. I went through all those articles and tried to identify what colors they said. And so what we have here is, a, is like a matrix. At the top, it's the source and on the left, it's the cited colors. I don't know if I like this color palette. I wouldn't use all the trending colors together. Maybe you can pick out two here that look good together. I was doing this as a word-based analysis. For colors, they were affirmatively saying, like they had to actually cite the color. If this was the color meta-analysis summary, what about the actual nail art styles or trends? On the top, we've got the source, the left-hand axis, we've got the the type of trend. So what I did was I came up with categories based on my content analysis that was trending amongst the trend articles and I slotted in whether or not that source agreed with it or what it was that source said was the trend for that category. The darker purple you see, the more endorsement, the more agreement. Yeah, I'm, I'm just injecting purple into the color palette. That's why this is purple. But it's basically a heat map. 
So this, the lines that are darker means more sources endorse the same thing. This is another way of calling them out. They're not agreeing on the trend. So who the fuck is right? So if you're trying to look at what is everyone agreeing on, just look for the darker purple. That is chrome and metallic. 91% of sources I analyzed agreed that chrome accents or metallic nail shape, they didn't agree on. Incongruent results. Disconcordant. Although we did see quite a few floating French tips, there was exactly four that cited it that way. Other articles said like classic French or a glitter French. To me, that's not the same thing. So I decided to code that a bit differently and I just coded the floating French as being in agreement. And yes, there's multiple ways to do this. Okay, let's not nitpick my analysis. Iridescent, we did have a few people mean iridescent even though they said other things like oyster or chrome. Sheer manis were absolutely cited by at least half of the articles. Radiant nails are in, but only if they are radial gradient. Simple rhinestones, 36% agreement people are still into ballet core. Animal print, two articles said 18% agreement. I don't think that they know what they're doing there. There was different patterns. No universal pattern came out, but magnetic nails are still cool and interesting to people. And I agree, it's impressive and it's like fun to learn how to do. So that's a cool kind of salon looking technique that you can get at home. Skittle Manny, you've got mismatched or mix and match, just uh, doing different designs. 27% agreement right there. In conclusion, there is no trend, <laughs> which is kind of disappointing because that's what was last year's results, you know? Like, give me something new. But do you follow trends? That's what I wanna know. So I asked you, does the Simply Nailogical community self-report following nail trends? And you need to analyze these results in context with a little bit of social desirability because most people are probably more inclined to say they don't follow trends because that's just like the cool thing to say. Facebook and Discord said, no, I do not pay attention to nail trend reports and generally do my nails according to whatever I'm into at the time. That would be my answer if I'm asked this question. The next stack of people at 22 and 25% respectively said somewhat follow trends, but they're generally not interested in recreating them, but am interested in knowing what they are out of curiosity and like observing the trends and then actually following it. So I was trying to get at that. Two and 5% respectively said, yes, I generally follow reported nail trends, but I don't always recreate them due to time, skill level slash life. So when they are doing their nails, they look to a trend to see what's in and then they they do that basically no one said the simple answer of yes i generally follow and recreate reported nail trends my community's like no i am not a follower listen i do what i want on my turn thanks so much for watching i'll see y'all later bye